to say about soil <coughs> what is soil soil is the top most layer of the earth's crust how is soil formed soil is formed when rocks are broken down <coughs> into smaller pieces this process is called weathering it is a slow and natural process <coughs> the sun heats up the rock during day time <coughs> at night the rocks cool down this alternate heating and cooling along with the action of strong winds and running water results cracks in the rocks <coughs> thus big rocks are broken down into smaller pieces pieces are pushed against one another by strong winds or or running water <coughs> this feeder breaks smaller pieces into even smaller particles known as pebbles the pebbles are finally broken down into the tiny grains of soil the tiny grains of soil <coughs> are carried by the wind and water to different places of to the upper layer of the earth as soil the dead animals and plants decay to form organic matter called humus the humus gets mixed with the soil and makes the soil fertile to grow plants <coughs> types of soil top soil top soil is the topmost layer of the earth's crust <coughs> it is good for the growth of plants <coughs> it contains humus and and more yeah animals are found in this layer subsoil subsoil is the middle layer of the soil it has less organic matter and less air the color of the soil is orange or red in color bedrock bedrock is the lower most layer of the soil it is very sandy and rain water percolates in the bedrock <coughs> the color of the bedrock is orange or yellow in color living organisms in the soil there are many living organisms in the soil fungi and bacteria are also found in the soil centipedes <coughs> millipedes ants feed on the organic matter called humus <coughs> they they make the soil loose to grow plants and movement of the air <coughs> the 
children. The rats, rabbits, <coughs> squirrels are also found in under the soil. Soil erosion, the washing or blowing away of the fertile top layer is called soil erosion. <coughs> the factor the factors causing soil erosion are wind, water and human activities. <coughs> soil erosion by wind. Strong winds carry the top soil <coughs> mainly from from <coughs> those areas where there is less vegetation or where the land is not covered with plants. Hence, <coughs> the soil left soil is left loose. Soil erosion by wind is highest in dry areas. Soil erosion of water. Heavy rainfall causes the topsoil to be washed away. The soil erosion of water is highest in slopes. Taking the top topsoil along with it, the, the water gets mixed with the river gets mixed with the river. If the deposition of soil is being done for years, it will course, course to have devastating effects to cause huge loss of life and property. Soil erosion due to human activities. <coughs> the roots of the plants hold the particles of the soil firmly, <coughs> firmly to reduce the soil erosion due to wind, wind and water. Humans are responsible for destroying plant cover, thus massive erosion of the soil. Humans cut down the tree to make furniture and building materials. Cutting large cutting trees on large scale is called deforestation. <coughs> over plowing and over grazing also also <coughs> leads to soil erosion. <coughs> soil conservation Protection of soil against erosion is called soil conservation. The factors to conserve the soil by growing grass. When the land is not used for crop protection, grow grass on the land to reduce soil erosion by growing trees or afforestation. <coughs> afforestation is the effective method to prevent soil erosion. Afforestation 
planting more trees on a large scale on a barren land is called afforestation <coughs> the deep long roots of the tree hold the soil tightly and do not allow the soil to be eroded eroded by wind and water by terrace or strip farming lot of soil can be washed away by the running water on the hill tops hill slopes can be cut down where farming can be done it slows down the speed of the water of the running water farming on such slopes is known as terrace or strip farming by constructing dams and embankments strong walls of rocks and stones on the banks of rivers <coughs> are called embankments embankments and dams are made along along the river banks <coughs> they reduce the flow of water and prevent soil erosion rivers flow with high speed during floods but embankments and dams check their flow and prevent the soil being washed away thank you